This netcast is brought to you by Deerswood, the Excel experts, helping you get the most out of Excel. What we're going to do today is to find the uh, the largest 10 items of a data set and the smallest 10 items of a data set. Uh, and you can see in the, the table that I've got here, I've got uh, a list of clients and their revenues. These are just randomly generated numbers. Um, but you will see that I've actually um, created this as a table uh, and called it revenue by client. So if you want to find the, uh, the largest item in that data set, we just say large and then we can use revenue by client and then let's use the revenue field and then we're going to position what's the largest item in that field so 9500 is the largest uh, item in that field and if we copy that down we'll find that uh, we get the uh, the second third and fourth down to the tenth and I can just sum that there okay perfect so that's the largest and if we want to do the smallest we use the small function revenue by client and then we're going to use the revenue field and then we're going to use that as the position so that's 303 is the smallest and if we just copy that down and uh, boom we can sum it up so that's how we do it and if we want to get that as a percentage of the total we would do that and we would divide that by uh, revenue by client Let's see if this works. Maybe we're going to need a sum revenue by client there. That gives us a, sen a more sensible item. Um, and uh, if we just copy the formula, that gives us 18%. So there we go. That's the way of finding the uh, the top 10 and the, the bottom 10 of a particular list. Now, if we want to do that, um, in a more advanced way we can use an array formula um, but the first thing we need to do in an array formula is to generate the, the, the top the number of positions that we want so uh, if we want the top 10 uh, but maybe um, okay so if we use that row indirect trick if I just press F9 now, we're going to get a list of 1 to 10. If I want to make that dynamic, I can just link that to a cell. So that's linking the cell now. And if I F9, that's 1 to 10. If I change that to, I don't know, let's say 13, and I go F9, that gives me a list of 1 to 13. So that that's kind of useful. But let's just leave it at 1 to 10 now. Okay, so here we've got our, our list of positions. We just then need to insert that into the large client and the revenue field. And that should give us a list of the top 10, which it does. And then all we need to do is just to sum product uh, to add that together. Now, hopefully, that is going to give us the same number, which it does. And if I just lock that there, we can copy that as formulas and, and then just use the same for small. So that gives us the top 10. And I just want to do a quick check. If I put 13 here, that gives us uh, 124395, which should be the sum of that, 124395. Okay, so I'm confident that those are the correct numbers, and over all of my years of using Excel, it's you always need to do a, a formula twice because uh, it's so easy for errors to uh, to creep in. So that's there you have it. That's how to find the, the top 10, the bottom 10, or the... Um, of a particular list and you can do it either in the long way or you can use it using array formulas which uh, is, a, is a more compact way but uh, always best to do things twice um, so that uh, you can check that uh, uh, you, you know you've got to check on all your formulas okay find us at deerswood.co.uk 
helping you get the most out of Excel.